from slide nerd this is weaves welcome back guys in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you this palindrome thing sounds pretty weird if you're a beginner right so if you see this number one two three two one it's pretty weird if you reverse the number you're gonna see that you get the same thing back so such numbers when you reverse them and you get the same thing they're called palindromes so let's go ahead and see how that's done if you see this t-shirt if you stand wearing this t-shirt in front of a mirror you're gonna see the same thing same thing the palindrome is just like that input we can either ask the user assume the value or take a random value i'm gonna ask the user in this then here is what we do we find the reverse of a number if the number and the reverse are the same it's a palindrome otherwise it's not so let's go netbeans and get this thing running so here in netbeans I have a simple buffered reader statement set up for taking input. I have a print elements that says enter the number. Then the user enters the number over here, integer dot parse and blah blah blah. Then I have a string buffer here for reversing. If you guys aren't familiar with how to reverse, I have two vids on my channel for that. You can check that out. I'll be having the links on this. String buffer is new string buffer number plus this. Now I say b dot reverse. So at this point, you have a string buffer which has exactly the reverse of your number inside, right? So we need to convert this to a string. So we say string x is b dot to string. And then we need an integer value. We'll say int reverse is uh, integer dot parse int x. Remember, this is the same function we use every time to convert from string to an integer. So now let's just print the reverse and check out what's happening. System dot out dot print ln. I'll say control S, shift F6. I'll say enter a number, I'll say 456. As you guys can see, 654 is coming. So if this number X and the original number NO are equal, that means it's a palindrome. So let's go and do that. If we'll say if number equals equals reverse, else, copy paste the two println and statements. So there you go. I'll just go in, say palindrome. Ah, that's a bad spelling. But I'll go to the else part and say nope. So I'm gonna run this, say control S, shift F6, enter the number 124, nope, shift F6, 121, yep, it's a palindrome. So as you guys can see, if you reverse 121, you're gonna get the same thing back. So this is working. So I hope you guys understood something out of this video. Please stay tuned, comment, let us know what you think. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting up more vids. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.